Hey guys. Oh, I hope he's okay. Okay, hey guys, uh, welcome to another week of ballet. Um, this week, it may be a little bit harder. So get ready, get your ballet shoes on, a nice tight clothing, hair pulled back, and let's get started. Okay, so first thing is we have plies again. And I think the one thing that was, um, that I forgot to mention last week about our plies is being nice, slow, and resistant, and taking as much time as possible that very last second. See, I like to think of dance as in three different motions in music. So you have your being very early, and you have your being very late. And then in the middle is that super nice sweet spot of like not too late and not too early. That's where we want to be as dancers, is that like middle spot. So. For plies, I challenge you guys to take that, whatever it is, grand that we do all the way through to the very last second before you have to go on to the next thing versus, you know, getting there and just waiting. You're like, okay, when is Eric going to do the next plie? Or, oh, I'm late. Yeah? Finding that nice sweet spot in the music. Yeah? I can taste something bitter in the sweetness There's an ache in my lungs cause I'm not breathing I break myself to pieces, test my patience Craving just a little validation When will I start feeling like I'm good enough for you? Time to second Only happy if you're happy for me Dying every second, you ignore me Now all my self-worth depends on me When did I become so desperate? When did I become so insecure? I hate myself so you can help me more When did I become so desperate? And parallel. You can wind it out if you want to. Need to hear it come from you. Or I don't sleep. I spend my free time wishing I was different No identities and no beginnings I don't know what I'm supposed to do When did I become so desperate? When did I become so insecure? I hate myself so you can love me more When did I become so desperate? Alright, so after you both did right side and left side, we're going to move on to tendus, okay? Um, a couple things I want to talk about real quick. First thing is your bar. So, um, I think we talked about this in class, and um, I want us to remember that no matter where we are and what we use, is that we're not gripping on that and trying to put all our weight on our bar, because that causes our shoulder to lift up, up, and that's extra tension that we don't need. Also, make sure that when you're standing at the bar, your hand is slightly in front of you. Again, and because when we're in second, when our arms are in second, they're not directly side or are they directly back. No, they're slightly in front of us. So make sure that hand is slightly in front of you. Um, tendus, once again, I want us to think of, of leading with the heel. Oh, and then when we come back, my toes is what are taking me back, okay? Um, another thing, make sure we're not sinking into one side or the other yeah so both sides are equally lifting up and out remember that the um, energy of pushing up and then pushing down with my lower half yeah so we have a little break in the line so if I cut you in half this your upper half would be growing nice and tall and then your lower half would be down and grounded into the floor yeah okay let's get started we're going to start in fifth position yeah I'm just going to stay on second for the first time I had a friend in 
I see it's written in the stars. 